Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do a little bit of a series um, about plus size clothing um, brands and companies that have started doing plus size clothing, companies that have been doing it for years. Um, I've always been um, plus size. Well, obviously not when I was a baby. Well, mm, I might be. Um, but um, I would say from about 18, 19 was when I first started properly shopping um, at plus size clothing places. And um, back in the day, we could only really, the only ranges that were available to us was New Look, um, and ASOS was around and really that was pretty much it in terms of high street um, plus size and now it's a whole minefield and I always question are people just cashing in on it or are they genuinely trying to make clothing more diverse so I thought I would test out the theory so I wrote down about 10 maybe more um plus size clothing brands that i want to try out some will be ones that i've used for years um and some will be relatively new um like pretty little thing um in the style so i'm going to test them all out do a haul from each and let you know what i think that was a really rambly intro let's get into the video i'm so bloody hot Okay, so today I am looking at Asda George and their plus size clothing. So they don't have a separate plus size range that I know to, um, but their clothing ranges from a 6, I believe, up to a 24. Um, and yeah, Asda's always been a great go-to place for like reasonably priced clothing. So I thought I'd go in, have a little look and I was pretty, pretty impressed. So this is what I brought. Okay, so first of all, I brought this sort of summer dress. Now it's that nice thin cheesecloth material. Look how shiny my forehead is. It's that nice shiny cheesecloth material, so nice and lightweight. Um, it's got adjustable thin straps and then this sort of um bardo frill that goes across um it has tortoise shell buttons and then the print is like a pinstripe with um some little pretty flowers and yeah it's sort of fitted to the waist and then flares out and it's about knee length i'm only short i'm five foot two and three quarters so um if you were taller then it would be above your knee but yeah so i got this in a size 22 and that was 16 pounds okay this is the white floral striped dress um i'm not sure about this one excuse the black bra i couldn't be able to find a white one out um yeah, I don't know, I quite like it, but I'm not like in love with it. I think if it was a little bit longer, I'd prefer it, like a proper midi, but it sort of just covers my um, knee. And yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's a nice light material, um, but I think this should be like floatier, like more skater. I feel like it's just sort of clinging here um, around the belly. And yeah i like it but i don't i don't love it and these straps are a bit annoying i need to adjust them um let me know what you think i don't think white's my color i find that asda's brilliant for um just affordable like fashion pieces or holiday pieces that you're not necessarily gonna wear more than maybe three or four times which I know is terrible, but if you know that you're only going to wear something a couple of times, you don't really want to spend a lot of money on it. So I think if there's something in particular that you're, you've got your eye on, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, as does the one. 
Right, next up, I got this wrap over skirt, which is sort of a midi length, and it's got this crossover, and then it's got a belt around the top, and it's got um, a stretchy waistband at the back. So, um, it fits your waist a little bit better and because it's got the belt it means it can cinch you in at the waist and then you can just sort of tie a little bit of a bow and I absolutely love the print of this. It's a red polka dot and then it's got like these pretty, are they lilies? I don't know. Um, like pretty flower detail and yeah, I really really like that. Um, the, I got this in a 24, the 22 fit but it sort of clung on the pouch a little bit and I weren't loving that so I've sized up, gone for a 24 and that was £12.50. Now if skirts aren't your thing but you like the print they do this exact print, exact material but in calottes and it's app, they're absolutely gorgeous but for some reason collots just don't suit me and I must have tried on like four pairs when I was there and I'm like really like trying my hardest to like get a pair but they just don't suit me so okay this is the red wrap skirt and yeah really nice quality I love the print red is like my all time fave colour so this one's definitely staying. A um, little bit big on the waist, but it's got the tie so you can adjust it. And I think, like I said, if I had the size smaller, it would have been tight here. So, I like wrap. I think it's sort of flattering. It sort of accentuates um, your waist and not him. And, yeah, maxi length. Not like to say really, nice quality, bargain. Now, this skirt is exactly the same as the last one with the wrap over and toy waist, but this is sort of like a jungly type print. It reminds me of a print that they've got in Zara at the moment, and I thought, I just really like it. Like, I like the colours, they're like not too bright they're like sort of muted and yeah I thought that was really nice with like a nice brownie orange eye little black body summer drinks I feel like every outfit that I talk about I say that I'm going to go for drinks in I promise I'm not an alcoholic um yeah I got this one again in a 24 I haven't tried this one on but hopefully it's the same size as the red one We'll see. Um, and this again was £12.50. They've got a few of these in different prints, and I also think they do them in plain as well. And what I like is that <clears throat> the wrap is sewn down the side here, um, so you don't have to tie the wrap yourself. I brought a wrap dress, um, it's in one of my ASOS hauls, and it's like leopard print, and you wrap it yourself, and it always like flings open because the toy gets looser as the day goes on dead frustrating so I like it when the wrap is actually sewn so no one has to see my what are we gonna call it so no one has to see my ham cob flower flaps flaps floof vagina Okay, this is the tropical print wrap skirt. Like I said, the wrap is sort of sewn down the side so it's not gonna fling open. It's a maxi length on me, so probably a little bit shorter normally. Um, it's got a little bar that ties at the front, just like a thin cotton material. Um, perfect for just like the day, they're not like great quality. Um, but yeah, does the job fits quite nicely around the the waist there's a little bit of a gap but nothing um huge i just think that's a nice eight feet to shove on when it's warm next of all i saw this one online and had my eye on it and that is this bardo um sort of skater i would say fitted to the waist and then flares out dress 
Um, it looks a lot brighter on the camera, but it is actually like a navy blue with a pink, orange, pale blue, white stripe, and then these button details. I don't know if the buttons are real. It's sewn at the top, so I don't think you can undo the buttons. The buttons are real. Um, yeah, and it's just got this sort of bardo off the shoulder detail and again just a nice summer piece again comes to my knee but I'll show it you on now okay this is the stripey bardo dress I'm not sure about the length like I know I'm like body posy but I hate my legs absolutely hate them and as much as I can cover them up I like to so I'm not sure if it's a little bit short um let me know what you think but don't be nasty um again great size um yeah just sort of sits in at the waist and then yeah there's no stretch in any of these dresses so bear that in mind um size up if you're not sure the bardo is really comfortable because sometimes i find that the bardo sort of pings up if you know you know i've got like triangle shoulders and bardos tend to just like slowly roll up and it's bloody annoying but um i don't think this one's gonna it sort of sits quite nicely i'm just not sure about the length so yeah and this one i had in a size 22 with um asda tesco any of the sort of supermarket brand clothing i always at least size up one because they never seem to be true to size so that's my little handy tip and that was 14 pounds next this is my absolute fave fave and that is this midi dress Again, the blue is showing up brighter on the camera. It's sort of a navy blue. Um, but it's like a navy blue midi dress. And it's got like a um, hanky hem at the bottom. So it sort of drops down at the side and it's a little bit shorter in the middle. And what I do like about all the dresses from Asda is they've got this adjustable strap. So if you've got no titties like me, you can pull it up a little bit. Um and yeah it's just it's a really flattering fit if you've got a smaller waist and bigger hips and i just think the colors are really nice i don't think it looks like a asta dress and yeah again just a nice one to sort of throw on for every day when you're just out and about and i got this one in a 22 and that one was 16 pounds okay this is the floral dress on the navy background it's got sort of a like hanky hem i think they're called so it's like um points down and then comes up a little bit um i love the fit of this dress i think it's like flattering how it's cut my only criticism is i'm not sure if i like the material it's like it feels a little bit cheap um so yeah i'm not sure about that um, I haven't got a bra on, so I'm sorry if you can see my nips. Um, but yeah, I think it's a nice print. And again, just to show one in the summer, I think that's perfect. Again, it's just got a little tie that you can tie. And yeah, adjustable straps. And a nice generous so using the skirt as well it's not um it's not like tight around the pouch happy with that one okay last but not least is this is gonna be super hard to show here um but this maxi dress which is like a lovely cobalt blue colour. It's showing up sort of lilac on the camera. Um, but it is blue and it's got these beautiful 
pink flowers um cinched in at the waist again maxi length got a little belt around the waist to tie um and again it's got the adjustable straps and the off the shoulder bardeau detail and that one size 22 16 pounds Okay, this is the blue maxi dress. Um, this is in a 22. It's sort of quite big at the top, um, but I think I probably wouldn't have got in the smaller size because it would have been tight around the waist. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but this is like a perfect maxi length on me. So maybe it's meant to be a midi, but it's maxi on me. Um, yeah, it's got the sort of elastic around the waist and then this little um, bow that you can tie a little bit tighter and then off the shoulder details I need to adjust these to be a little bit tighter what I like about these is like you don't have to wear a bra if you've got no boobs so that's always a bonus and yeah I don't think this looks like it's from like a supermarket I think it actually looks, not that things from supermarkets don't look nice, but I think it looks like it could easily be from like ASOS. It's quite possible that I've just got back from food shopping and it's quite possible that I brought another t-shirt from Asda. So I've just picked up this sort of cropped, not really, um, top and it's got like these cute tortoise shell. Uh, buttons and then it's like pink orange and purple stripes and this was £10 that's the thing with bloody supermarket clothes like too accessible man too accessible fruit salad Okay, so that is it. That is my Asda George haul um, for the summer. And overall, I think Asda is an amazing place to get plus size clothing from. Dead affordable, good quality. Again, great if you just want a fashion piece that you're going to wear a couple of times. And yeah, I'll definitely be going there again. Um, let me know what other plus size clothing shops you want me to try at the moment on the list. We have got River Island, New Look, ASOS, Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, Misguided, Fashion Nova, In Style, maybe Marks and Spencer's Curve, Tesco, Simply B. Yeah, if you can think of any more that you want me to try, then let me know. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe. And if you're going to buy any of these floral summer dresses, then tell me which one. And follow me on Instagram if you want. Um, it's at Sophie Payne XO. And yeah, I'll see you soon for another haul, maybe. Maybe. Mm, I need to start pulling, I really am skinned.